Hi guys, so this is just going to be a short tutorial on how to set up iCloud on your Mac products across all of your Mac products such as your MacBook, uh, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch and so on. Um, you can also download Mac iCloud for your PC so that you can still access all of your information and files, contacts, etc. Um, so the first thing you have to make sure is done is that you have updated your com computer software to the latest iOS update, iOS 5, whatever it is at the moment. And once you have updated that, you can go into up to this little Mac symbol on your desktop and down to System Preferences here. Now once you open System Preferences, you're going to notice um, a few different sections. One is personal, one is hardware, internet and wireless system and other. Um, we're going to go down to internet and wireless and you'll see a few different tabs and one of them is called iCloud. So we're just going to click on iCloud to open that up. Now once you get the iCloud, um, I'm already signed in here. Uh, you can see it's signed in as Miguel DeMello. That's my iCloud. And it's set up um, all the different um, information sections are checked off that I sync between uh, all of my devices. But if you're new to iCloud, it's going to ask you to set up a Apple ID, or if you already have an Apple ID, you can put that in and it'll ask you, it'll, it'll let you sign and it'll bring you to this menu. And what this menu is, is basically just asking you what you want to have synced through the iCloud and what you want to go between all your different devices. So if you have mail and notes clicked off, it'll sync your mail between all your devices, your contacts, calendars, bookmarks, photo stream. Once you take a photo, the photo will automatically show up. If you take a photo on your computer or a photo on your iPhone, it'll show up automatically on your iPad and your computer and your iPod Touch, etc. Whatever you have um, iCloud set up as. So once you do that, you accept the terms, all of that. Um, so once you have that done, you can open up your browser and go to um, apple.com slash iCloud slash setup. Oh, iCloud. Now once you get to this page, it'll, this is basically showing you how to set up iCloud on all your devices. Um, so now that you have iCloud set up on your Mac, if you want to know how to set up iCloud on your iPad Touch, your iPhone, your iPad, um, this basically takes you through the steps. Um, so basically, just make, same thing, make sure that your device is running the latest uh, software update. Um, go into your system preferences and turn on iCloud. Um, once, if you if you go to settings and you go into iCloud, it'll actually bring you to the same menu that you saw on this tutorial for your MacBook, um, and it'll let, it'll uh, let you decide whether or not you want all the same files syncing from Mac from your computer, the ones that are going onto your computer to your iPhone or your iPod Touch or your iPad. Um, and so yeah, basically this just takes you through the steps of that. Now, another cool thing is um, if you're not on your computer, if you're on a different computer or you're away from home and you don't have any of your devices with you and you need to access something, there is actually a iCloud uh, web page called iCloud.com, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so if we go into iCloud.com, uh, this is the first part to ask you for your Apple ID and password. So you just type that in. And once you sign in here, it brings up the different um, sections that you can access. So if you want to access your mail, I don't have my mail uh, set up for an at me <coughs> um, email account, but uh, contacts, it basically brings you to the, your contacts, you can see all of your contacts, these are all of my contacts that are through my iPhone and my iPad and iPod Touch, I have them on all there. It's basically the same thing you see when you open up your contacts in your iPhone or your uh, iPod Touch, iPad, MacBook, wherever you have that information stored. Um, 
Now, once again, calendar, it's the same thing, the same kind of um, look that you would have on your computer, on your MacBook or your iPhone, iPod Touch, everything. And it will have everything that you have um, set up the exact same way as you have it in your computer or your iPhone or iPod Touch, iPad. Um, it has the different tabs, homework, reminders. I have my reminders on the side here. Um, everything that you have reminding you in your uh, iPhone, it will show you on here. Uh, so if we just go back here, um, find my iPhone, that's another very, very useful tool. If you lose your iPhone and uh, it actually works with your MacBook. If, uh, find my MacBook. Uh, it's the same kind of thing. If you lose your iPhone or your MacBook, you can actually find it from one or another. See, uh, I have my iPhone called my phone here and my MacBook Pro. They're both <coughs> on here. And um, if you lose your iPhone, <coughs> you can play a sound or send a message, uh, which will play a very, very loud sound on your iPhone or your MacBook, whichever one you're trying to locate. Uh, you can remote lock it so that nobody can uh, open it up, or you can remote wipe temporarily so that uh, it wipes everything off and nobody can get any of your information temporarily, but it's stored on the iCloud so that when you get your phone back, if, if possible, that all of your information will automatically be restored from the iCloud. So that is very, very useful. Um, iWork is just another tab here that is basically all of the different uh, softwares that people use for you you have pages here which is basically your documents um, there's also keynote which is basically what I'm doing right now is uh, allows you to give um, presentations keeps your presentations on your iCloud and, and your uh, and you're able to access them from any of your devices um, there's also numbers, uh, which stores your spreadsheets. Something like Excel, it's something like Excel spreadsheets, and um, which is basically the same as Pages and Keynote. Uh, allows you to access them from all of your different devices. Um, so yeah, uh, that is the tutorial on iCloud. I hope you all enjoyed it and learned a little something. And